OK, it's time to talk Olympics. In five months' time, we'll be just days away from the opening ceremony as around 360 Team GB athletes dream of their Olympic moment. And we can now cross to their training base on the outskirts of Paris and join our senior reporter, Geraint Hughes. Geraint, good morning. Good morning to you. I think the first thing is to make clear we don't expect the weather to be like this in Paris come the Olympics in July and August. We're at one of their uh, Team GB's training base to the, to the west of Paris, Saint-Germain-en-Laye. Uh, yes, that is close to PSG. For those of you who are going Saint-Germain, yes, their training bases are four or five miles away from where we are now. Just quickly show you around where we are. Look, you can see the facilities here uh, are going to be pretty impressive. There are 12 sports of, uh, from TGB who will come here to train prior to competing at the Olympics. As you can see, there's an athletics tra track down there. Uh, there's a rugby pitch, although they're going to be using the one over to the far right. Hockey, tennis, uh, there is a lot here. I think there's going to be about 140 athletes or so, roughly, who will be at this base in Saint-Germain, uh, en Laye. Um, it will be nicer weather. We know that for certain in Paris in summer. Uh, to talk about somebody who will make sure the weather is good is the head of, effectively the head of Team GB, Chef de Mission, uh, Mark England. Mark, you were a regular with us on Sky Sports News. Um, I think we had a chat with you, what, about six, seven months ago? From here. From here. How ready are you? I was asking you then with about a year to go. Um, it's not long. It really isn't long to go. Um, how ready are you? Yeah, we're in, we're in great shape now. Thanks, thanks for asking. We're about 150 days to go to the opening ceremony. It's a bit chillsome here today. Uh, That's frightening <laughs> when you say that, 150 days to go. Yeah, go yeah, yeah, and we've qualified, or British athletes have qualified, about 200 places so far. That doesn't include swimming. It doesn't include track and field. So we know we're already over 300. So we're shooting for about 350, which would be fantastic. Uh, and that 350, we've already qualified athletes across um, 16 sports. So... We're in, we, you know, we're in really good shape. Have you taken a sneak at my questions? Because that was my <laughs> next question, is how many, how many athletes have actually qualified? I think what's worth reiterating is how difficult it is actually to qualify. And some athletes won't know if they're even competing in the Olympics until you know, 10 days before the games start. Yeah, and some, some athletes qualify places but don't necessarily get selected. So they will qualify a place for Great Britain and then they'll have to go through another selection down the line. So it's tough. And then, as you rightly point out, some of this is, you know, it goes right to the wire. So we won't be selecting track and field, for example, until, until July, early July. So that'll be right on the cusp of, um, cusp of the game. So, yeah, you know, that's part and parcel. It is tough to qualify, you know, but this is the big show on earth this is the biggest uh, event in in the calendar it comes around i was going to say once every four years but this one's come around <laughs> yeah. every, every three years so or three years uh time so you know it, it's um you know it's very difficult for them uh but as i said you know the 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 system that that supports the athletes now is just so so precise that you know i'm, I'm pretty confident the team will do very well well it's precise because of, of the work that you do right 350 I'm going to get this out there now. Are you kind of disappointed it's not around 372 or 373 with the Lionesses not quite getting over the line with Team GB in terms of the women's football? Because I think this was going to be a base, potential base for them and they were bringing so much profile again to women's sport, to women's football. Um, I think everyone was banking on them being here, weren't they? Well, not necessarily banking on them, but we would have loved to have had the um, you know, Great Britain women's football team. Uh, we'll still qualify more women than men. That's yep. important uh, in terms of our, our equity and gender balance. You know, that is a, an important message that, that goes out. Uh, the, the qualification was actually changed, so top two at the World Cup. They, you know, yeah, it was tough, wasn't final, it? Yeah. They were in the final, and, and then the Nations League came around and, 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 and that kind of you know, took over. But um, I'm sure they'll build and rebuild for Los Angeles. They'll be a great addition alongside so many other team sports in, uh, in Los Angeles with the new sports coming in but no, th the 350 I think is is high quality you know we, we, we're expecting some pretty good performances and some pretty strong medal return from uh, from the team that we're taking here you know we're medal competitive across a significant number of events and and we pretty strongly believe that that will that will translate into some strong medal returns I'm going to come to you. I'm going to come on to pick up on that for a moment. I'm going to come to you. Talk about security for me in a moment. Let's just pick up on that. Mm -hmm. Medal targets or medal ranges get set to you by UK Sport because they provide a lot of the public financing through, you know, whether it be the lottery or for or, or through the Treasury as well. So you, you know, you you have to perform. Um, those medal ranges haven't been published yet. 
But what are you expecting? I mean, where would you like to maybe be in, in the medal table and what kind of range of medals would you like as the head of the team, Mark? <laughs> Well, when the medal range comes, I mean, it's it's fairly generous, you know. So, you know, we'd expect to be somewhere in the middle of that um, of that range. What do you expect you know, that range well, to be? Well, you know, the, the the delivery for us, I think, is you know we've delivered over sixty medals at the last three games, and 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 wouldn't it be fantastic? if British athletes perform to the best of their ability, which we know then will translate into medals. You know, top five, top European nation, that's what we're shooting for. Pretty tough here now with the kind of home games and, and the strength in Europe. So, you know... French are going to be strong. Well, the French are strong, you know, and, and we're looking forward to some fantastic competition against them, in particular triathlon. The mixed triathlon relay should be, you know, quite uh, quite special. You know, so so they'll be strong, but, you know, we, we, we would very much hope to be top European nation, top five. Um, and, and if British athletes perform to the best of their ability, and I have every confidence that they will, that we're going to be in a very, very good place, very strong place once again. Mark, I know there's some things you can't tell me, and I know that, but I am going to ask you about safety and security because yeah. your job is to keep the 350 athletes safe. There are significant <coughs> threats, we know, with, uh, that are being placed upon uh, on Paris 2024, whether it be yeah. domestic or, or international. From your point of view, how much of a challenge is it, is it for you to keep everyone, the home, whole Team GB uh, delegation, athletes, coaches, etc., etc., them safe and secure in Paris because it's a hugely different challenge compared with uh, Tokyo three years ago. Yeah, it is, and um, you know we're we're about a thousand strong, so we expect about a thousand um, of the, the kind of official delegation, 350 athletes plus 550, 600, 650 support staff to come, and you know we fully expect everybody to to get back to the UK safe and sound as always. You know I don't go into detail about our security um, kind of planning. We've got every confidence in the organising committee what they're doing. Uh, we're inside the organising committee's details, we're inside the IOC's details and as always uh, we have our own security on site with us and, and that, that doesn't change whether it's Tokyo, Brazil, London uh, and now Paris. So that hasn't specifically changed, you know, but we, you know, we're taking every, um, every precaution that we possibly can, obviously. Great stuff, Mark. Listen, thanks ever so much for your time this morning on, on Sky Sports pleasure. News. Uh, go and get warm. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, we, we are actually going to, if you keep an eye on Sky Sports News over, over the coming weeks, we're going we're gonna to take a little tour. Mark's going to help us with some tours of some of the, the training bases here uh, in Paris that Team GB have. And we're going to be putting those out in the next few weeks on our, on, on our website and also on Sky Sports News as well. So plenty to see in advance of the Olympics uh, this July and August about where Team GB will be training, the facilities they've got, and how they're going to manage themselves in Paris and as Mark was saying there, get a top five finish and get around that 60 medal mark as well. Yeah, Ryan, thank you.